Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on add new partitions and logical volumes and swap to a system non-destructively. So the, the key uh, part of this is swap. So swap is essentially using the system disk to provide additional memory or, or uh, RAM. So when you run out of uh, memory as in the physical memory it will actually use some storage space that has been previously assigned to it as swap which is as to use as as if it is memory so it's like a, another virtual memory it can use obviously it's slower so it will make the system run a bit slower if it starts using swap but it's better than having nothing at all so we need to in this one we need to create a, we're creating another uh, logical volume and then assigning that as swap so in all systems you should already have a swap assigned but this is to add an additional swap okay so as always we'll go straight to the terminal okay and we'll need to be in as root because this is root level privilege required so we create the logical volume, so LB create, we've done this a couple of times now. Uh, we'll call it swap1. We'll give it a size of 2 gig. And oh volume group name. Let me just double check that. So we just we should have a volume group from previous, so just doing L, uh, a PBS. <clears throat> oh yeah, and the volume group here is VG1. We've got it's in two separate disks of five gig each, so it's around um, around uh, ten gig. So we can do a VGS, and we can see the volume group here. So we've got two physical volumes and one volume group, uh, which is around ten gig. So I can quite happily assign that <coughs> two gig to it. So if I just copy the rest of that command, I would stop there, just paste it back in. And then just finish off with the volume group, so VG1. It's going to say yes. It's going to wipe that and clean that volume. Okay, now we're going to make a swap, so it's just MK swap. Dev VG1 swap 1. It's a set set of swap. And then we turn on swap, swap on, dev vg1 swap1. Okay, there's no output to that command, so we can check this is actually enabled. We do swap on minus s. We can see uh, there's a second partition here, which is 2 gig, and that's dm2, so the second one. We can do swap off. Turn, it, turn this back off, remove that from swap. The dev vg1 swap1 and if we swap on minus s again, you can see it's been removed. And, <clears throat> and obviously, if you're adding swap, you probably most likely need this as, uh, as a persistent. So you're going to have to go into fs tab as before, etc fs tab and you can need to add an entry for the swap in most cases because systems already have this uh, have a swap uh, enabled you can just copy the line that's got a swap and just update some fields so in this case I can see quite clearly the line for swap is this one so we've got swap the special bits here for swap are the, these literally swap and swap so we can do uh, double, double tap y to yank it and P to paste and do an I to insert and we'll just update the fields so I'll just do VG1 and that's swap1 and then we can leave all the other ones as defaults there and uh, zero, 00 and then we do a right quit and all being well swap on minus A and now we do a swap on minus S we can see it's been mounted, so that means the uh, FS tab is working absolutely fine. 
that is all there is to it. So most of the commands of it is within that swap on. So again, I'm going to look a bit more detail into its man swap on, and you've got some more detail about it. Okay. Well, uh, I've put some uh, of my uh, affiliates I'm working with here on the screen now. Um, so I'm working with uh, Sovos and Hostinger. Uh, there'll be some videos to follow with regards to those. Um, and also my Patreon page and uh, Kofi as well. So Kofi is um, a, a new one for me, which is uh, literally just give me one, two dollars just to uh, buy me a copy essentially. Um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice if you uh, take a look, that'd be great. Um, well, thanks again for watching my videos, uh, they're much appreciated. Um, please keep, keep uh, watching, like and subscribe if you like what I've got. Um, thanks again.